the next challenge. And to tell us all about it, our ace reporter at the scene. <laughs> this is you bet, and on you bet, you've got to think big. And this is how big our next challengers are prepared to think. For their challenge, they're going to use a vehicle that's 32 feet in diameter, 44 feet high, 132 feet long. It can travel at 55 knots on two 80 horsepower engines and has a fuel capacity of 75 gallons. It can stay in the air for a maximum of 15 hours, upheld by 69,000 cubic feet of helium. Sounds like an airship. It is an airship. Do <laughs> Look at the enormity of this thing. And what can you do with an airship, I hear you cry? Well, of course, there is only one thing you can do. You have to take it to the fun fair and throw it at the coconut shy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is the coconut shy. 40 coconuts on cones, 10 rows, 25 metres apart. Now, the pilot, Mike Narancic, will fly his airship 5 to 15 feet above the course, while crewmen David Owen and Richard Priest will attempt to knock off five coconuts off of their cones and catch them in a net. I wonder if it's as simple as it sounds. Let's meet the challengers. Oh, chaps. Welcome. Nice Hi. to see you. Mike. Hello. Now, how do you fly your airship? We have, we have an elevator and a rudder. Um, the elevators control our altitude, and uh, the um, rudder controls our direction, which is what we hope to uh, be able to do uh, for the challenge. So it's a simple craft, really? It's fairly basic, yes. Yes, I've seen those wheels. It looks like a wheelchair in the, uh, in the cockpit. They're the elevators. That's what controls our altitude. And the pedals are for...? The rudders, which control our direction. Uh, yes, well, it might be simple to operate, but it's not a simple task, this, is it? Not really, no. We've, uh, we have to fly the airship precisely. We need uh, good conditions for it, uh, stable air, and uh, not too windy. I know, but it is a bit on the windy side today, is it not? It is. And that's a pretty chunky machine. It is, too. So you uh, get a sudden gust of wind, and what happens? Well, any number of things. Um, if we uh, are too low, then the airship is uh, a threat of uh, ditching into the ground. And if we're too high, we're not able to uh, scoop the coconuts up. So uh, we It have takes an enormous amount of skill on your part, is what you're saying. I don't know about the But modesty forbids. <laughs> I understand these things. Right. So there's not any skill on your part, but there's skill on your part, David, because you have to pick up the coconuts off the shy. Now, That's right. You're using a net. Show us That's this right. net. This is a net. This is a phenomenal thing. Now, the net's pretty big, but it's not as simple as it sounds. How are you going to get the uh, coconuts into the net? Well, as we approach the uh, coconut shy, we're going to lower the net down out of the ship. Uh, get it into position and we need to scoop just as we go past. So we really do need to be right on top of the coconut to get it. So Richard, will you be employing any particular techniques to achieve this aim? Yes, David will be in constant uh, radio communication with Mike over the headphones uh, in the gondola itself. And David will be advising Mike as to whether the airship should decrease in altitude or increase. It's up to us to decide. Will it be a network success? Or will it be a dirigible disappointment? <laughs> Pat, what do you think? I think they'll probably do it because it's so strange that if you're going to have a bash at that, you must have, it, have a plan, a game plan, so yes. OK, fair enough. Thank you very much, Pat. Jean? Well, we just follow what he says, because <laughs> he's won everything so far. <laughs> Jean, don't dwell on the past, love. Um, I'm not dwelling on the past. Can they I do this now? Said. Yes. They I can. They can, OK, yes. it's very it's decisive. Really Alan? Yeah. Well, the captain said it's going to be very difficult if it's windy, and it looks very windy there. Uh, I've got to say no. OK, fine. Thank it's you. Always, you're always wrong, no, you know. know. Well, he is uh, always wrong, but don't <laughs> let on. Sharon? Well, I think it's a complicated way of collecting coconuts. Don't you? There are easier ways. Yeah. yeah. It, it's such a weird challenge that mm. they'll have thought about what, won't they? Yeah. Have, they'll have, yeah. So you're saying yes as yes, well? Yes, I am. OK, yeah, fair yeah. enough. We've got yeah, three yeses, yes, one now. Let's said. see what the yeah. audience think. Place your bets now, please. <laughs> Don't forget you can play this at home. What? If you've Just got your own dirigible, yes. anyway. <laughs> 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 or collect your own coconut. Yes. Well, 62% say that yes, they can, and 38% say no. Let's hope the 62% are right. Let's go over to Tolerton, not to net some nuts. 
There she blows. First cone's approaching fast. Richard and David trying to get their eye out. Nothing yet. Steady. Oh, come on. There's one. And there's two. Almost a lovely bunch of coconuts as they come round for the second pass. The sun sets in the west. Here they come. Okay, steep descending turn, guys. So descending now for the second run. Three more required. Excellent! You see, that was really good. It was much faster. We were all quite surprised about that at the, the speed you were going. What speed were you going? Uh, about 20 knots. Yeah. What's that mean, knots? Yeah. What's it mean? It's about 25 mile an hour. And that it, it was actually very difficult for you with that. Um, Absolutely. That thing. Yeah, I, I took yeah. a lot of the torque on the uh, on the pole, but uh, fortunately, right at the last moment, just as the sun was going down, the wind died off, and we were able to complete the challenge successfully. Never mind the talk on the pole. You should have heard the talk in the cockpit. I was shocked. <laughs> right. You well deserve this. Of course, you will all be getting your medals. But, ladies and gentlemen, the challengers, Mike Naranzik, David Owen and Richard Priest. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good night.